We're not going to have the music right now. Instead, we'll just keep it. Excuse me. Instead, we just keep it in a little bit of ambience or ambience, whichever you want to say it. I was going to do this earlier when I got in, but I'll play a little bit of PlayStation 4 real quick. <laughs> Those of you that had caught that $200 deal for the PlayStation 4, you know exactly what I'm talking about, the one, the Spider-Man bundle. Wasn't playing Spider-Man, I was playing this game called Dying Like the Following. It was more like a zombie apocalypse type of game, whatever. Think of it as Resident Evil, but you doing parkour <laughs> through um, the whole city and, you know, different cool little missions. I've had the game many times and things of that nature on Xbox. I had it on another PS4 in the past as well, too, and beat it both times on both platforms. So I had to buy it again. <laughs> I've been wanting to play it for a cool minute. I like the parkour um, moves that you do inside the game. It's like way better than Resident Evil anyway. So free roaming, which means you can move anywhere around the little city area that the game creators had created and things of that nature. So I was playing that for a little bit in my mind, you know, prepared to do the podcast and things because I could easily just said, well, let's go ahead and start it up. I'm like, nah, it's been a very, very busy, hectic day and get back to work on Wednesday. So I'm be like a little very busy, hectic week as well, too. So it's uh, kind of crazy, but other than that, though, we're going to get things started. I mean, it's it's been a very interesting, blessed week. And you guys are going to love what I have to talk about. So, give me one second and we'll start the podcast. All right. So, welcome, ladies and gents, to week 103. Sessions 501 to 505 for this week on November 19th through the 23rd. Welcome to the Business Minded Leaders, a.k.a. the Roses Wolves Den, with your host, DJ Skylo, also known as Chinchilla Q, or Q Moore, of HipRockerProductionsDM.com. Good evening. It's now 2047, or 847 p.m. California Pacific Time. And so, ladies and gents, while we broadcast this from South Central Los Angeles, want to welcome you guys to the show. Now... Um, real quick again. Now, before we get back into this podcast and everything, I want to say I hope that you guys had a blessed Thanksgiving and had all of the food that you was able to get. For those of you that have gone Black Friday shopping or have done Black Friday shopping, hopefully that the little things that you purchase, hopefully it's early Christmas gifts that you put it towards the side <laughs> and things of that nature. Don't just spend all your money, just spend all your money. I kind of did my Black Friday slash birthday um, gift shopping for myself way earlier within this week and yeah, whatever actually part of last week so i already got the things that i wanted to get for myself the playstation 4 was one of them only because i know i need a blu-ray player at my house so yeah <laughs> but um far from that me being a music producer I had made a great investment which is also a great birthday gift to which you guys will hear the next instrumental album coming out december 21st so what's supposed to come out this month Actually, it was supposed to come out in September, but got busy with working other things. And so, since I now just get back to the podcast and stuff, I decided to push the last instrumental album for this year. Well, kind of like the last couple of instrumental albums. Uh, one, the main series, and then the other one is the alternative or alternate edition. Um, that will probably come out like before the end of of this year but the other one Devil Valentino Valley Chapters 11 and 12 that will come out December 21st so push it towards Christmas time I think we'll close towards it so stay tuned for that though 
because um, that's gonna be a cool album. And the music assessment that I had made, I'm gonna easily make some dope, better sounds to make the album the way that I want it to sound. Because the album, like I said before, in many of the previous podcasts, has been done already. I mean, like fully 100% done. But knowing me, I like to give a little bit extra to the album or switch some things around to set the theme for it. So I'm still trying to figure out how many tracks I want to put on this next instrumental album because it was going to be a big album, but not going to do like that. And hold on real quick, ladies and gents. But yeah, the ladies and gents. So after making this grand music investment, uh, like I said before, the next instrument album will be coming out December 21st. So stay tuned for that. Because um, I'll put it this way. For those of you that listened to podcasts before, you heard me that I had made some music off of my phone, my iPad, of this music um, program called Machine or iMachine. Well, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's only that. But um, the Machine is spelled differently, whatever. If you ever heard of a company for Burmese producers and DJs, if they already know about this. But if you ever heard of a company called Native Instruments, if not, look them up. They produce different kind of sounds and the music kits, and they have some of the software and things of that nature that um, that fits along with it. So I bought one of the little um, music, little beat generators, whatever, that actually would be perfect for some of the tracks that I had made off previous iPhones, including the one I have right now, and previous iPads, including the one I have right now, too. So everything is coming together. And this one track I've been listening to that I had created off my phone a couple of days ago that I'd just been listening to it. It was going to be on the mixtape. It might actually be on the mixtape and then be on the instrumental album. So it's 50-50. I said how, to do it, how I'm going to do it. But the way it sounds, I'm like, okay, this could be the intro. This could be the outro that would set up the next two instrumental albums for the series I'm doing, which will end in 2020. So... Yeah, it's it's cool. But other than that, though, well, that's just a little update and things of that nature as to what's happening. On top of that, with the nose ring, <laughs> something small. But when I get that for about the past seven years. But other than that, though, ladies and gents, we're going to dive into the podcast tonight and um, get it cracking and things of that nature. And the reason why I had mentioned a little nose piercing thing is because um, for one of the topics. For Blessed Mondays, it has that. So for Blessed Mondays, November 19, 2018, I said, always remember that you have the power to make great change within yourself as well, your environment. Before I even get to dive into that, let me also say happy Thanksgiving. I know it's a little bit late, a day late, but that's to everybody. But you know what? Before I even dive into this, actually, you know what? I think I do have a Thanksgiving they post as well too so we'll dive into that that way you know you guys can kind of understand what i'm talking about but yeah so for blessed mondays um the from 19 2018 i said always remember that you have the power to make great change within yourself as well your environment we all each have different gifts and talents that we are blessed with we do have the power to make great change in our environment in our neighborhood in our society and things of that nature We just can't be afraid to go ahead and make that change. I know sometimes we do be afraid to make that change because sometimes, you know, we don't want to be around, you know, people and things of that nature, which is understandable and things of that nature. But at the same time, do know that you have within you the power to make a change on whatever it is, whether it be your job and your boss is telling you one thing, but you can, you know, you kind of like, Argue, not argue with us, but kind of like let your boss know, like, hey, how about we have another solution that would actually help a situation, things of that nature. Or, you know, follow Terry to do some work somewhere, things of that nature, and make a change or, you know, make a power change when it's somebody else's life, you know, as to different decisions and things of that nature it might be great. So do know that you have the power within you to make a change in your environment for the greater good. As opposed to, you know, just being afraid of making new things happen. And with that, for On the Grind Tuesday, it's November 20th, 2018. 
I said your perception of your reality can totally change to something else greater once you realize that life is a game which changes which change plays daily. So let me say this right now, right? We all have different perceptions of what we see on the outside. But what we see on the inside is totally different than things of that nature. You guys should know that life is really like a video game. The only difference is you don't get to hit the reset button or get infinitive lives. Only way you get infinite lives, infinite to life, wow. Only way you get infinite lives is, you know, one or two places, straight up. But when I mean one or two places, for those that believe or I believe in heaven or hell, that's the only way you get infinite life. Because uh, here on this earth, you only get one life. But what you do with that little time period that God's given you makes a difference. So the thing is this. We have a different perception on how life is in regards to how things is done. But like I said before, life is like a game once you understand the steps. It's way more than just paying taxes, paying bills, buying f- groceries and things of that nature. Uh, let it consumerism take over your mind frame and stuff like that. Having folks tell you what you need to do with your life. and woo-woo. I mean, life is way much more than that. Once you understand the game of life and you understand the different perceptions that life gives some real and some that's not real then you start to see things from a different reality you start to see things from a different transition that you truly start to understand what's truly happening behind the scenes but most individuals don't really see what's happening behind the scenes because most folks is too caught up in the noise of life that's truly taking them off their guard and off their game so you had to look at life from a different angle. You had to look at life from a different perspective to understand what really is going on. Once you understand that, they understand the true reality and the true perception as to what is around you. Let's continue. So, Motivational Wednesday is November 21st, 2018, which is also my cousin's birthday. Her birthday is ahead of mine, so she's 31 and I'll be 31 next week. But other than that, though, I said push yourself. Stop being afraid of making new changes, taking new risks, and walking into your purpose in life. Life is more than a regular routine, so change your lifestyle up. The reason why I haven't mentioned that, ladies and gents, is because we all have a routine of what we do in life, which is wake up, take a poop. Uh, if we got kids, you know, drop kids off, whatever, school, stuff like that. Um, if not, the summer, you know, wake up, take a poop, walk the dog, or whatever. Go to work to a job we don't like. Come home. Try to do something. Let me rephrase that. Go to a job we don't like. Be on social media almost like for the rest of the whole shift and whatever. Because depending on what type of job it is. If it's like a sit down on this job, then yeah, you're going to have more free time to get down your work early. If it's kind of like what I do at the airport, downtime, you normally be on your phone. But once you go on the aircraft about five minutes and knock that out, then yeah, you know, you get kind of bored. But other than that, though, the routine that you tend to have and do daily, change it up. Change it up, man. I mean, just just, just change it up. Trust me. I change my mind up each and every time. And normally, I try to rest, but then I'm more of a busybody, so I don't try to fully rest. Only time I really do try to get some rest is when I have a real busy week working at LEX like this past couple of days, kid you not, where I know that on Monday I am going to need to just take the day all completely not really do as much, <laughs> but let my body regenerate only because of how much of the heavy lifting and stuff I do in my job. That's different. But for most individuals that just do the occasional American thing, which is get up, use the restroom, go to a job you hate, come home, watch the news, and fall asleep watching TV or whatever. And then wait back up, go back to the same job, deal with the same people, do the, you guys get what I'm saying, saying going back in the concert circle. So it's time to change it up. 
Well, you know, make some new changes in your life. Don't be afraid of what those new changes are going to be. Reason being, because that's how you grow in life. That's how you see some folks on Instagram. Let's go say Instagram, because Facebook and Snapchat be on some BS. But that's how you see some folks on Instagram, the ones that are top tier, they craft. You know, you always see them talk about they in a new country or a new whatever, or new whatever. Why? Because they were the ones that made new changes. They took extreme new risks. And some of them is walking in their purpose. Even for the ones that are walking in their purpose, they're walking in different type of purposes as well, too, because they're not just walking in one stage of what they do in their life or one talent that they have. Instead, they walk into different multiple talents. So you guys can't be afraid, man. Trust me. Take it from me. You can't be afraid to make new changes. You got to go ahead and switch it up. Once you switch it up, you start to see a whole new world around you. I kid you not. It's a blessing. And once you start walking in your purpose, and you know what? I will, I will be real with this. Sometimes you may not walk in your purpose in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s. Sometimes it may happen like with some folks, um, like Colonel Sanders. I think he started walking his purpose in 60. Uh, Morgan Freeman, I think he really started acting until like around, what, in his 30s or 40s or something like that. So... Yeah, sometimes some things happen later. Why is that? Well, we as humans, we have to learn some things in life in order to get to the next level. You know, trust me, some of you may have some people that tell you guys, you know, that you're going to be successful as to what it is you're going to do. And some of you just like me that when you hear that, you think to yourself, okay, so when the hell is that going to happen? <laughs> you know, but as you go through your journey of life, you start to actually see that you have to go through some things to understand some things before you get to the next level. And sometimes we step ourselves on getting to the next level because of different perceptions that we have of ourselves. So time for us to change our routine up. And with that, let's continue with the next post. So. On Thanksgiving Thursday, which was yesterday, November 22nd, 2018, Daily Test Thursdays, I said, despite what circumstances one may be going through, just always remember to be thankful for what you have, period. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies and gents. There's a reason why I add the last part. Just always remember to be thankful for what you have, period. Because as you get older, and things of nature, as you get older, most folks... You know, kind of see Thanksgiving as, you know, it's another holiday, you a day off, whatever, eat some turkey, blah, 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 you know, kick it with family and things of that nature. And then, you know, Black Friday shopping and stuff like that. For the kids, like, you know, get out of school for about a couple of weeks, whatever, you know, I do no homework and things of that nature. But once you get older, especially towards your mid-20s and going up, and you start to see life change around you. And you start to see that certain individuals that used to be here on this earth isn't on it, here on this earth anymore. And then you really start to see the bigger picture as to what Thanksgiving really is about. It's not about the pilgrims come from Europe and basically almost damn near wipe it out the Indians and things of that nature. Yeah, my bad. Oops, did I say something that they didn't teach you in elementary school? Yeah, I gave you the actual true real history as to a short synopsis of it. As to what Thanksgiving was really about, of how the pilgrims came and basically tried to take over some land that was native to the Indians there. And, you know, the Indians there was like, hey, man, you know, we'll go ahead and do a trade. We'll make a share with you guys. But... Y'all set tripping because what the hell y'all doing on our side of tracks? As opposed to what we was taught in the institution of the system of education. That, oh, the programs came and, you know, they made a trade and everybody was live happy ever, ever after. Please understand the true history, what really goes on behind the scenes. And you really start to see how dark this country really is. But we ain't about to dive into that. That's for another topic on another day. But the reason why I mentioned the other thing in regards to once you get older and you start seeing different changes around you for a certain family members that's not here anymore is because 
you really start to be thankful of the memories you have in the past with those individuals that you're celebrating Thanksgiving, Christmas, or any other holiday, birthdays, and stuff with. So Thanksgiving and other holidays, I'll put it this way, they seem much more of a bigger deal We start seeing the newer generation come up. And then you start thinking, wow, newer generation. Wow, the older generation is fading out. The newer generation is coming in. But they're continuing the tradition once they get older. The thing I want to tell you guys is be thankful for who you have and be thankful for the things that God has blessed you with. Because it's easy to lose focus on the things you don't have and then don't see the bigger picture of what you do have. I'll be real with y'all. I'm not too thrilled the holidays that much anymore. Once you get older, the commercialism of the spells that's been Pose on us as we've been children dies out once you really get older. So you looking at the holiday as another day, like okay, it's just just another day. <laughs> and for those of you that work, it's like okay, you know we're going, you know, and work in a couple of hours to make the time and a half or whatever, you know, get the little extra money for the next paycheck. Man, pay some little bills and stuff with low key or you know like Christmas coming up and get them Christmas gifts early ahead of time. <laughs> And stuff like that, you know. So that's how, you know, once, once you get older, you see a little bit different, you know. But for the children, you know, it's more of, well, back in my day, I was born late 87. So back in the 90s, you know, we wanted action figures, toys. I mean, we had Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sega Genesis you know, when, when we was flat, flat broke. You know, we really pictured this. <laughs> I had to make us, every, every time, every time I say that, I think of this, of the Biggie Small song, Juicy. Because he says that part right there, and it's just funny because most of us had the Super Nintendo, and I was Team Sega Genesis. Don't get the game twisted. Mortal Kombat was better on the Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis had Street of Rage 1, 2, and 3. You cannot touch that on Nintendo. At the same time, Sega Genesis had Super Street Fighter 2. And it had the very first Sonic the Hedgehog game and Sonic the Hedgehog number two, which to me was the best Sonic game. That and I think Sonic Sonic 3 was dope. No, Sonic and Knuckles. Actually, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic number two is actually pretty dope because of the soundtrack. Sonic, I think, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 was actually pretty good because of the soundtrack because Michael Jackson actually worked on a soundtrack for a son, for, um. Sonic the Hedgehog, number three. I found that out a couple years ago. And I was wondering why while singing one of the little tunes, I think it's a Casino Stage, um, off of Sonic the Hedgehog, number three. One of the stages on that game, it has a very Michael Jackson type groove with it. But when you read the credits and you find out Michael Jackson actually work on the soundtrack on it, it's like, what? <laughs> you know, but Sega Genesis to me was top tier before PlayStation came out and then Nintendo 64. Because after that, Sony that killed the game with that when they came out with the PlayStation. They took it to the next level. Like it was PlayStation. Then Nintendo 6, no, PlayStation, Dreamcast, and then Nintendo 64. And then once PS2 came out, then it was Microsoft, PS2, and GameCube. Actually, GameCube was tied up with PlayStation. I take it back. PlayStation 2, Xbox, then GameCube. You guys make your own rules up because it's it's a whole lot of good games with those since it came up. But other than that, though, the reason why I had mentioned the Sega Genesis and stuff like that, and the reason why I mentioned the toys, the reason why I had mentioned the Black Friday thing and stuff like that, and the holidays is because back in my day, we wanted action figures. We really wasn't into the video games and electronics like that. Nowadays, the newer generation, 
We want the new iPhone. We want the new iPad. We want the new electronic this and this and this. And it's crazy because those like are some very expensive type of toys. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, so uh, is that from a child's mind, they want items. But once you get older, it's like you don't want nothing anymore because you're thankful for what you already have. Straight up. And family is more important than material things. Most of you guys listen to this. You still love my material items. It's all good. Do you? Me personally, I'm not very materialistic. I got to the point in my life where God showed me how to be humble with what I have. Literally. Maybe some new things I can hear and there. But it doesn't really matter to me. As long as I use those tools correctly. Straight up. And material items like Gucci and Doshi and Gabbana stuff, I, I can't rock with that. I'm sorry. I'm more of a brand creator, which means I make my own brand up. And then folks who follow my own brand. Not buy somebody's brand because of the name of things of that nature. When it comes to the tech world, like with Apple and Microsoft, it's a different story. Because you're using the operation software system with just the OS or operation software, whatever, that makes the kind of crazy what it is, makes the magic of everything work. Me doing the podcast on this phone is kind of magic. And the reason why I say that is because we really think about it, it's you holding a metal phone. With glass and aluminum and things of that nature. Copper and tin and different elements that makes the phone up. The computer components is almost like witchcraft within itself. Because you really have to stop and think, how the hell does an image of a picture per se, of a cartoon character or whatever. Or like I'm using the Spreaker app to record off of a metal device. Like how the hell does that work together to which I transcript and transcribe in computer code of binary numbers and fractions sent out through a imaginary cloud space to which you guys are listening to this right now. This isn't human, ladies and gents. This is something entirely bizarre. Once you really think about it. See, most of y'all don't see it like that. And that just open your mind up to something to make you say, whoa. Do your research. You understand exactly what I'm talking about. But other than that, be grateful and thankful for what you do have. Don't let the holidays and things just take over your mindset as to what you don't have. Trust me, because once you get older, even with birthdays, you'd be like, eh. Some folks like to celebrate. That's cool with them. I personally nowadays don't like to celebrate anymore. Why? Because I'm ready to bless as to what it is that I have. And so I'll see another day, each and every day. So my age is just another step or so to learn new things. Straight up. Let's continue. So for today, Boss Says Fridays, November 23rd, 2018. Don't let Black Friday distract you from spending funds in which you don't have, unless you're buying Christmas gifts early. This is the reason why I had mentioned this earlier in regards to Black Friday and all that type of stuff and things of that nature. I didn't just say that just because, you know, it's like bagging on anybody that done it. Nah, don't spend money that you don't have. (laughs) Simple as that. 
Trust me. Like I said earlier, I said that part of my little Black Friday type deal shopping stuff way early. Especially when I got that um, GameStop email that's talking about the PlayStation was $200. I said, what? Because I've been wanting to get one for a cool minute. <laughs> and, I, and I bet it's not about to pay no $300 to $400 for, for one. I'm like, nah. That's why I a Nintendo Switch. They, they had a deal on that. Could it do the Microsoft? I mean, could it do the Xbox um, One S? Because I think you need to have a pay subscription to pay to play some of the games. Because the Diane Light game I had, I was trying to play that, and it was like you need to have a Microsoft. I'm like, well, who, what, what? Like I have a subscription, but I don't have the gold standard one where you know do all that. I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh, like no, no. That's what we not about to do. So let me go ahead with the Sony. <laughs> and speaking of which, though, ladies and gents, December 1st, GameStop would have, you know how they came up with the Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis, the little mini consoles that come in with the preloaded games. They go have the PlayStation 1, one coming out December 1st, if I'm not mistaken. That's going to have Tekken 3, um, Rich Racer, Spiral the Dragon, I think number 2 or number th- or Year the Dragon. Track one of the two on there. If you ever heard of a game called Jumping Flash for PlayStation, it's it's a dope game. And I remember when it, I remember when it came out. My local uh, video store <laughs> a long time ago. We used to up as way. Now 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 we can buy the games on the cloud on you know the system. We had to go to the store like Blockbuster and rent video games. How many of y'all remember that you got rent movies and rent games for about a couple of days before you got to send it back in? If you rent it on tape, you got to rewind the tape back to the original standpoint and then bring it back. <laughs> before there was Netflix and Hulu and other Amazon Prime and, all, and Apple TV and stuff like that. Yeah, before all that happened. You know, how many, how many of y'all remember that? We had to make sure that the DVD you got from Blockbuster was a scratch up because if it was scratch up, we got to make the payments. <laughs> or like for us with the video games, we got to make sure we got the good disc because some of the discs that we had got was kind of scratch up, not by us, but the people who didn't know how to take care of it. Yeah. But other than that, GameStop and I think Amazon and them will have the little PlayStation 1 mini coming out December 1st. I'm going to get that because that has Tekken 3 on it. And I'm telling y'all right now, none of y'all can get me in Tekken 3. I got my characters on standby. Whoever want to get that work, holla at your boy Chinchilla Q. We can make a tournament happen. Trust me, y'all don't want these combos. <laughs> But other than that, for those of you that had their Black Friday shopping, hopefully the money that you guys have was for getting early Christmas gifts or, you know, might get a little something for a house that you may need to get, whatever. But not spending money that you don't have, which you can make an investment into something else greater, winning yourself or even inside your business. And, you know, just use your money like that. Because trust me. Them so-called deals that they have, you usually find the same deals better online on Amazon. Only thing you probably got to do is pay shipping. Unless you have Amazon Prime that you straight. So, yeah. The game the game has changed for Black Fridays and at the Christmas shopping deals. Stuff, the game has changed online drastically over the past three or four years. Take it from me that kind of false technology so I see where the investments is at but other than that if you had done Black Friday shopping and you have got some early Christmas gifts that you know you're going to have to decide and that's cool just know that when it comes to the video games for some folks that they want some games is coming out in December so you might want to put some money to the side for that especially those that try to get Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> or I forgot about the games that's coming up. Well, I mentioned the PlayStation Mini thingy coming out. So, yeah, that's something great to get to those, you know, to the younger ones that has not experienced 
having the very first PlayStation 1 and seeing the 3D graphics and say, whoa, what is this? Because we came from the age of 2D cell shaded type of graphics like the Street Fighters and the Sonic to which the 3D thing came out. We like, what is this? And most of us that know how to play video games, we just learn as we went. Died a couple of times, find out how to beat certain stage, find out how to beat certain horror games. And once you go back and play those games, you like, damn, I thought this was hard back in the day. Only game that's still kind of hard to be real with y'all will be um, Pokemon, the original one. Pokemon Red and Blue. <laughs> There's a reason why I so said that's still a hard game to play. Because, um, and the reason why I said that's kind of hard to play for those of you that had to play the original Pokemon game is because <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing, you will easily spend all your money in that game. Well, the video game money that, you know, because the games were really original or whatever. But the money that you get in the game from beating up the trainers or whatever and stuff like that, you spend a whole lot of potions trying to keep your Pokemon revived. But other than that, though, um, Friday's post was just a toss-up. <laughs> I was like, okay, just have to Thanksgive it there another night. So what we'll just talk about? Let's talk about the Black Friday thingy. But yeah. Don't spend funds that you didn't have or whatever. If you need to pay some bills, pay your bills off. But if you're still doing your little shopping or, well, Black Friday, your shop is already done. I think you guys heard this podcast. And guess what? Um, yeah, hopefully y'all got what y'all got. But hopefully y'all didn't spend money that you don't have. All right. So we're now done with the podcast. Any updates? Nah. There's no updates. Next week, podcast might be a little bit interesting. So, you guys, we'll see why with that. We'll see what the topics of what's going to be discussed. But with that, though, ladies and gents, as I get ready to lay down. Because <laughs> lately, like I said, I've been working hard at my job for the past couple of weeks. And, yeah. I've been kind of burnt in yeah, whatever or try to relax my mind when I get home and that doesn't work half the time. But what it does, I'll be knocked out and then wake up like around 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning knowing I get back up at 5 <laughs> and then try to get up at 5 when your body like, uh-uh, we ain't try to do that. So this is what I want to tell you guys. This is going to go right back in relation to the dates given post or whatever. I'm being thankful. Be thankful and grateful for what you have. But especially be thankful and grateful for what you have in regards to family. Because like I said before, once you get older, you start seeing life in a whole different ouch. Okay, if I touch my damn nose ring one more time. Ladies and gents, I'm going to tell you guys right now, for those of you that have not got your nose pairs. If you think about getting your nose pairs, here's the thing you need to do. You know how we hurt ourselves and that we always hurt ourselves in the same spot for some odd reason because we tend to just love to be prone again and hurt. When you get yourself a nose ring, ladies and gents, be, make sure your hands is fully clean and washed. That's one thing. But at the same time, make sure that if you're going to scratch your nose, don't scratch your nose where the ring is at. <laughs> Because if you go too fast and hit at a certain angle, I kid you not, is you, you're going to feel like it's if you almost ripped the thing out your nose. Well, if you got the little loop or the hoop one, it's going to be painful. But if you got the one that goes like straight down your nose, like the little um, like the little stud, like the earring stud, whatever, then um, just be careful, ladies and gents, when you... You kind of yank your nose a little bit because what you don't want to do is, um, what you call it, the one that hit too hard that you mess up your cartilage inside your nose or whatever, something, something like that. So, yeah. 
<laughs> like I said, you got my nose pierced. I got the little, got one, got the second smallest nose pierced stud inside of my nose. But, ooh, excuse me, but with that, it's been little accents here and there where kind of like, kind of like move it just a little bit because I'm scratching my nose or something. And then I'm like, ah! <laughs> so, yeah, be careful with that. But like I was saying before, be thankful for what you guys have, though, straight up. And go into this weekend being blessed and enjoying yourselves, you know. And especially if you also got family that have flu in out the state and everything that's still out here, you know, enjoy them. Because you never know, you know, like those curveballs and things of that nature. So, yeah. At the same time, if you are flying back. Please, ladies and gents, if you are flying back to your home states, that you clean up your damn area in the seats that you sit in. All right. I keep mentioning this in my podcast from time to time because, like I said before, I work at the airport and I clean aircrafts. So make sure that wherever seat you sit in it and whichever airport you're flying in, be courteous of the cleaners that come and clean up the bull crap y'all leaving y'all seats. Some of y'all should be ashamed of yourselves, especially you grown adults that leave crumbs on the seat like if y'all was two years old or y'all just leave trash everywhere because y'all was on a 14 hour or eight hour flight. It doesn't matter how long you've been on. Always ask your local flight attendant, you know, despite how annoying they could get sometimes of being. Anyways, but ask them for a little garbage bag to put the garbage in. Or if you hear them say that y'all have trash, say, yes, we do. Collect your trash together and put it inside. Please be courteous of each and every individual. And with that, we want to thank you guys for tuning in to today's podcast. With your host, Q Moore, also known as Chinchilla Q of HipRockerProductionCM.com. Business Minded Leaders, a.k.a. The Roses Wolfston. Yes, I kind of changed the name up a little bit. Trademark. So they'll get the game twisted. And if you guys had noticed, I really didn't. Um, go full hammer South Central in this podcast. It was no need. Last week I had to go full hammer South Central in the podcast with some words that need to be said, but you know it is cool because the topics we discussed last week needed some clarification to it. So, with that though, ladies and gents, Thank you guys for tuning into tonight's podcast. I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. And with that, I will most definitely um, catch you guys next week as well. Next week is going to be kind of cool and special. One is my birthday and I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. Turn 31. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you that know me and see me in pictures or you see me in person, you know that I did not look 31 as you look. That's if I'm back to being 18 or 16, whatever. But that's because black don't crack, so don't get the game twisted. <laughs> black don't crack, and when you're African-American mixed with Native American, mixed with Irish and things of that nature, you still look good for your age, lads and laddies. But yeah, we don't stress off about bull crap, and when folks do be popping off with the stress, and you just be like, whatever, and just tune them out, and you have music in your ears, you're like, la, la, la. And then folks be like, what's wrong with you? And you just look at them look at them like, I'm just being peaceful. I ask the Lord to be peaceful, so I'm being peaceful. So don't bother my peace. <laughs> if you guys understand what I'm saying. But other than that, yeah. Next week will be my birthday on the 28th, which is cool. But as hard as I've been working and putting in hours this week, that next paycheck will be looking cool. Even though it's going to be half of the... Bill's paycheck, but it's all good though. I'm not, I'm not tripping though. I'm not tripping. Because what I'm about to do after this podcast is I'm about to use this voucher from Native Instruments from the little thing that I got. And I'm going to purchase one of these little sound kits that I've been looking at. I think one of them was either a, was either a Southern, a South Americano one that has like Cuban sounds and things to it. But there's one that has orchestrated sounds with it, and I want to get that. And I know Native Instruments have a Thanksgiving sale so happening, so I'm going to try to jump on that right now before that goes away. <laughs> While the sound kiss is still $25 and stuff, 
which is not bad and whatever because I think the orchestrated one that they have I'm kind of bringing back the next instrumental album to how I did it when I very first start getting to doing my music and how everything was so orchestrated like I actually have four genres and one of the genres is actually like the main one you guys don't really pay attention to what I talk about the website there's the reason why it's named that way but the second part of it is actually half of the genre that I had created, which is also trademark. Don't look at the game twisted. So, yeah. But I'm bringing back the orchestrated feel of certain tracks for a reason. So, stay tuned for that. Because I'm about to do that in a few minutes on the iPad and things of that nature. And hopefully that kit is $25 or cheaper. And if not, then when I get paid next week, I'll buy some more of the little sound kits because I already know on Monday I'm about to really teach myself how to really, and especially when it comes to the metronome. Metronome is like the time frame, like a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four bars, you guys hear it on the radio all the time. So as you listen to pop music, like, you know, you listen to certain track, and you're like, that track sound the same, like so-and-so, so-and-so. It's because they use a 4-4 four, four time frame, which is like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then you hear like boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. That's one, two, and three, and then four. That's one, two, and three, and that's a four, four time signature. You have some tracks like um, techno, be like that's like a two third time signature, stuff like that, where you have things that kind of go that's like higher time signature. Some folks are producers know how to match that pretty good and things to that nature. But other than that though, I'm about to go ahead and invest in some invest in that music kit if I can find it. If so, it's about to be a blessing using that voucher. But other than that though, that's what I'm about to do. And yeah, so next week that's what I said. Next week will be a uh, interesting podcast and it's gonna be a fun one. And I'm about to tell my coworkers don't throw me no surprise party at my job. <laughs> Because I've been trying to keep my birthday discreet like I did last year, which was hilarious to one of my coworkers just came in and said, started singing happy birthday. And I'm like, shush. <laughs> I don't want folks to know. And then my coworker's like, why you know, when you tell us your birthday? Ooh. I said, because I don't want y'all to know. You know, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not in the birthday feel like that anymore. I'm, I'm older. <laughs> I'm blessed with a half shoot. I'm blessed now to which I don't want, I don't even want gifts anymore. A birthday cake would be cool. <laughs> until, you know, until you get to a point where you eat so much birthday cake, you're like, I can't do no more with the frosted sugar, you know, you got to put to the side. But yeah. Other than that, though, ladies and gents, you guys have a wonderful, blessed evening. Things in the nature stay safe for this weekend and enjoy the rest of November because. We are now at the latter games. December will be here next week. Then next thing you know, Christmas. And next thing you know, you guys go hear me say, Happy New Year, you jive turkey mothers and everybody else. And yeah, 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 yeah. And what you going to do in 2019? So let me say this to you guys before I even sign off right now. We ain't about to say all of that. In December. We're going to say that right now. Tonight. What you going to do. On the last bit of November. And what you going to do in December. Scratch out Christmas and the holidays. What you going to do. Next month. That's going to set up. Your 2019. To go the way you want it to go. Let me rephrase that. (laughs) Because God got different plans. For everybody. Period on the plants that we want to create. I laugh at myself and other entrepreneurs and gurus and business people when they say, you know, always write out your plans and things of that nature. What they fail to say is that, and this is what they fail to say, 
they failed to say is that um, first talk to God about your plans first. But if you ever want to make God laugh, tell him about your plans. Because he always got something different for you. Trust me, it happens every time. When you write something down, you plan something out like, okay, this is what I'm going to do tomorrow. And next thing you know, your plans is totally different than what you wrote down on that paper. And then you kind of feel bad. But then again, you don't feel bad because it's like you're not in control of the plans that you want to create. You have to remember that the creator is in control of your story. The thing is, he just gives you the choices as to what you want to make. You know those video games where you got to make choices and whatever those choices may be may change the whole direction of the video game? It's the same thing with life. Whatever choices God give you is the choices that you make in your life. So even if you make a plan as to what it is that you want to do, guess what? God always changes your plans each and every day. He might let some plans slide so you can accomplish what needs to be accomplished. But at the end of the day, God's going to make sure that your plans going to be a little bit more different than what you've written down and think you're going to do the next day. So let me go ahead and re this again. For your 2019, but for your November and December of this year, what are you going to do that God is going to allow you to do that's going to set up your 2019 the way that God wants your 2019 to be? Think of it from that perspective. Leave your comments down below. It's been your boy, Q Morals, known as Chinchilla Q, DJ Skylo of Hip Rocker Productions, ZM.com, Business Minus Leaders, aka The Wilsons, Midnight's Classic Soul, aka The Lounge. Sing your piece, Sayonara. I'm about to make another music investment in one of these kits. So I could go ahead and put out the instrument I'm for you guys in December 21st. So stay tuned for Dreams and Realities. Oh, my bad. I went way back in 2000. My bad. So stay tuned for a death of a Palatino or a DOA Fifi C, which is Failures Chapters 11 and 12, Death Roses. There's a reason for that title and things of that nature. Well, for those of you that ever heard me say Black Lotus Rabbits and Black Roses Wolves, there's a reason why I say that. So... With that, ladies and gents, what I want to tell you guys is this. Go ahead and enjoy your evening. And with that, I catch you guys on the flip side. It's your boy. I'm about to say Chinchilla Q, one of the names. You guys already know who the heck I is. So with that, peace out. More love. Signing our deuces. Catch you guys next week. We out. Peace.